All right, what's up, Gordon Gang? I'm on like day six or seven hair after a blowout, and I honestly hate my hair straight. So I'm about to take you through my wash day. You make it easier when life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home. And today's trata is going to be rice water. I have a little snippet of how I made it and what's in it. This is just rice and water in a bowl that has been sitting for 24 hours. The oil is your preference, but this is macadamia oil by Hair Chemist, and it just feels really good on my scalp. So it's just a couple pumps of that, and then lavender oil. Just a couple drops of that added to the rice water, and that's it. Just my two oils and my rice water. I'm going to show you how I put it in my hair for my wash day. So let's go. Vamanos. After that. So I just took out my ponytail, kind of rubbing it loose. And then I'm going to brush it. I just want to brush it out to make sure I don't have any tangles or knots, especially from that messy bun I just had it in. So I just want to brush all the way through until I can run my fingers straight through it before I wet my hair to wash it. I'm using all Aussie Miracle Curls products. Here's the shampoo and here's the co-wash. This is the order I'm using them in as well. So the shampoo, the co-wash, and then this conditioner. And normally right before I do um, my hair mask, I put on a face mask because they're normally each about 20 minutes. So here's the face mask. And then after I condition, I'm going to put this spray in my hair. And then after the spray is when I put on the hair mask. I was going to use this one, but I found my Aussie one. I'll put a picture up later. And then I wrap it all in this shower cap. So I always dry my hair in a t-shirt because towels just seem to like just pull my hair out and they feel terrible. So I try to get as much moisture off my hair with the t-shirt as I can. And since I use a face mask, this is the face oil that I use after my face mask. Especially because the water up here in New York definitely dries my skin out. So it has a little pump. Drip it all on my face. And you can see the little button right here that releases the oil. And then it's time to rub it in all over. And then I'm just parting my hair in half, and then braid one side, and then start working on the other side. And then this is just water, and the same macadamia oil, and the same um, lavender oil. But it's not rice water, it's just regular water. I've already dumped out the rice water because you can't save it overnight. So I mix it up, and then this is what I spray in my hair before I add in my leave-in. I want to get it really moisturized with the water and the oil because the water up here in New York is really, really rough. And now I'm going to detangle again with my wide tooth comb. And then right here I'm just parting my hair again into a smaller, more manageable section. And I'm using a scrunchie to tie up the front part. And I'm using this detangling brush just to make sure this last back section is detangled. This video is not sponsored, by the way, but here's my Aussie leave-in. I really do swear by this stuff, like the entire line, so that's why I'm using the entire line today, but it's like my go-to. So I'm making sure it's detangled by finger combing, and then I use this detangling brush again, and then it's time to twist it up for my twist out. Real quick, look at this little disrespectful piece of straight hair, but then like my roots are mad curly. I have a hair appointment coming up. I think I'm just going to get like some little short bangs right here across my forehead. Whatever. So here's the last one. So I just did four double strand twists looking real young and ish right here. So now time to go to sleep. So I have the macadamia oil here, and I just put it on my fingertips as I untwist my hair just so it stays moisturized and doesn't look super frizzy. 
So I'm just kind of pulling them all apart in between each step. I just put more oil on my fingers so it doesn't look dry. So you see this box look? I don't like it. So I take my comb and I just kind of fluff it out. And I've seen people who have like twist outs and they just untwist it and it looks beautiful as it is. Mine doesn't work that way so I'm going to style it a little bit. So I just put a part in my head and then I use my edge control which is the As I Am smoothing gel. Please don't mind my ugly jacked up old bottle. This is the finished product. You see it's like really voluminous and bouncy and the curls are just popping though. So needless to say I'm in love with the Aussie Moisture uh, Curls line. And then when I go to bed tonight, I'll use this same white um, the leave-in. By the way, I'd like to reiterate that like this is definitely not sponsored. Nobody asked me to do it. It just, it works for my hair. Like, look at that, look at that, like, body. Are you serious? Like, I miss my curls. But yeah, definitely not sponsored. Nobody asked me to do it. Nobody asked me to try it. It's just like, if you're natural, you know that you go through so many different products until you find what works for your curls. And that's just like my everyday go-to. Just comment down below. Like seriously, comment down below. Let me know what you use. If you save a coin buying it from a certain place or Amazon or whatever. Um... I'm always down for whatever's cheapest, but like whatever's inexpensive. It's not cheap because I don't want bad quality stuff for my hair. I've been natural for a couple years and we got a rhythm going, you know, like it looks good. But um, yeah, let me know. Comment down below what my natural sisters use on your hair. I'm always willing to try new products because it might give me a different curl. It might give me a different bounce, a different sway. It might give me something different. So comment down below what you use i'll see you next time peace gordon gang we out this thing every time we say we say goodbye i wish we had one more kiss i'll wait for you i promise you